Hey what's up guys and welcome to my tutorial video. Guys in today's video for Adobe After Effects I'm gonna introduce you people to a very powerful color correcting effect right and um, and a quick example that I wanted to show you that what it can actually do is that I've taken this clip guys in After Effects and I have made it look something like this. So you can see guys that we have the sunset in the uh, in the video and you can see guys that we really have this one good Tintish, you know, it's kind of like you know an orange tint in the whole video, and and it really looks good, guys. So, uh, how did I exactly do it, right? And you can see without the effect, it looks like this. You can really see that the sunset is over there. You have the greenery over here, but with the effect, you know, we really have this nice subtle effect. So, which effect did I apply from the effects and presets panel? Now, guys, this effect is found in the color correction category and is a very powerful effect, guys, and it's known as curves, right? Uh, if you are working with Premiere Pro, right, this effect is also available in Premiere Pro, guys. If you are a Premiere Pro user, and you like to use Premiere Pro a lot, uh, then this effect in Premiere Pro is known as RGB curves, right? So you can just take it and drop it over here, and guys, you can go to the Effects and Presets panel, and you can start working with the effect. And guys, I I'm going to introduce you. Uh, I, I said I'm going to show you how exactly it works. So I I've got the curves applied right now. I'm going to remove it. I'm gonna search. I actually, guys, I'm gonna click on this triangle right here to reveal all my searches. I'm gonna click on. I'm gonna click on curves and take the curve. I'm gonna drop it onto the video. Now you can see, guys, when you apply the curve effect, you can see that there is this one option of channel. You have the RGB, and then, guys, it allows you to manipulate the red, green, blue individually also. But, guys, uh, let's take a look at each of them individually, okay? as, as in one at a time, alright? So. RGB guys, now if you take, if you click on this curve somewhere guys, it's going, it's going to create a point into that, you know, its curve. And guys, if you take it up, it's going to add the brightness or it's, it's going to, what do you say, um, give a boost to the white in the, uh, in the video or in the picture. Similarly guys, if you take the same point and you click it down or if you bring this curve down, you can see that we are getting kind of like, you know, a dark shadow or, you know, a darkness in the whole effect. Um, this uh, this effect right here guys is also used for creating day to night effects right if you guys do not know what a day to night effect is it's like uh, the movie has been shot into uh, like you know in a day but in after effects we make it appear as it was shot in the night so you can see guys that it really looks good i'm going to take the curve i'm going to take it somewhere over here and now guys take a look at the red and guys the best part about uh, this um, effect is guys that, that you can actually have animation in this you can see this small stopwatch just click on it and you can have them you know like if, if it was over here and I again went to RGB and then I just change it to here so you can see guys that from here you will have oh uh, you know it's kind of like you know a good animation so I just want to say that you can even do that I'm gonna do a reset right now I'm gonna bring the thing just a little bit down so we have a dark you know some vignettes in the corners all right so red vignette yeah, all right. So uh, I'm, actually, I'm going to take the red a little bit up just to show you how exactly did I get that um, sun, uh, that shadow, or that you know. I'm gonna, I'm actually, I'm going to bring it over here, guys. I'm going to take it a little bit down, say a little bit down, yeah, somewhere over there. Blue, and I'm going to take a blue a little bit down too. You can see that I have created this lovely sunset effect. Go ahead, guys. Practice with this effect as much as you can. Right? It's a very awesome effect, guys. And you have some um, more options over here, guys. We have the pencil tool, we have the open command, it's going to help you open if you have saved a curve file, like you know, if you have applied, like say if you have come up with um, with an effect using this curves effect, and you tend to use that effect a lot, then you can go ahead and save the curves, you can see, and it's, it's, just, it's already going to be typed in for you, as in save the type as curve files, just go to a proper place, guys, like say into your desktop, then make a folder, say, uh, you know, all the curves files or after effects files, and you, know, you can just save it over there. And cancel and the next time guys when you come to apply that curve guys just click on this open command and you can browse to that curves file and it will be there for you right so pretty awesome guys you have some uh, more options over here you check them out guys and it's a pretty awesome uh, effect guys uh, go ahead and practice with it for uh, for understanding it and for using it into your own projects okay so thank you for watching my video guys hope you guys liked it and please subscribe to my channel Please subscribe to me and like this video too. If you have any kind of problems in After Effects or any kind of doubts, then the link um, for my Facebook is going to be in the description. Go ahead, add me, leave me a message and I will be sure to help you out. Right? So thank you for clicking on my video and please subscribe.